Computers are one of the most significant inventions ever made. Nearly everything in our human civilization runs on and benefits from computers. This revolutionized the industry, society, education, finance, medicine, and many other areas. Today, computers are everywhere and it's hard to imagine a world without them. In this video, we will explore how computers were invented over thousands of years and how they became the ever-present machines we rely on today. The history of computers begins with the birth of the abacus, which is believed to be the first non-electric computer. It is said that the Babylons invented abacus around 2400 BC. It was a wooden rock which has metal rods with beads mounted on them. The abacus operator moves the bits according to some rules in performing arithmetic calculations. In 1614, John Napier invented logarithms to simplify complex calculations. Among its methods to speed up arithmetic was Napier's bones. It was a manually operated calculating device where he used nine different ivory strips or bones marked with numbers to multiply and divide. It was also the first machine to use the decimal point. Between 1642 and 1644, the first mechanical and automatic calculator was invented by a French mathematician philosopher, Blaise Pascal. This is known as the Pascaline. It could only do addition and subtraction with numbers being entered by manipulating its dials. A series of windows is given on the top of the wheels to read the totals. A German mathematician philosopher Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz improved Pascal's invention by developing his own machine in 1673. It was a digital mechanical calculator which was called the stepped reckoner. The calculator can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Wheels are placed at right angles which could be displaced by a special stepping mechanism. In the early 1820s, the father of modern computer, Charles Babbage, originated the concept of a programmable computer. He conceptualized and invented the first mechanical computer with this revolutionary difference engine. It was a mechanical computer that could perform simple calculations and a steam-driven calculating machine designed to solve tables of numbers like logarithm tables. However, in 1830, Babbage realized that a much more general design was possible, the analytical engine. It was a mechanical computer that used punch cards as input. It was capable of solving any mathematical problem and storing information as a permanent memory. The next major changes in the history of computers began in 1937 when Howard Aiken planned to develop a machine that could perform calculations involving large numbers. In 1944, Mark I Computer was built as a partnership between IBM and Harvard. It was the first large-scale automatic digital computer in the United States. The start of World War II produced a large need for computer capacity, especially for the military. New weapons were made for which trajectory tables and other essential data were needed. John Eckert, John Moshley and their associates at the Moore School of Electrical Engineering of the University of Pennsylvania decided to build a high-speed electronic computer to do the job. This machine became known as the INIAC, Electrical Numerical Integrator and Computer. INIAC was about 1,000 times faster than the previous generation of relay computers. Another milestone was reached when a computer design with portability in mind was first launched by Adam Osborne in 1981. The computer considered by most historians to be the first truly portable computer was the Osborne One. The history of computer development is a computer science topic that is often used with reference to the different generations of computing devices. Each computer generation is characterized by a major technological development that fundamentally changed the way computers operate. Most major developments from the 1940s to the present day have resulted in increasingly smaller, cheaper, more powerful, and more efficient computing machines and technology, thus minimizing storage and increasing portability. Our journey through the five generations of computers starts in 1940 with vacuum tube circuitry and goes to the present day and beyond with artificial intelligence systems and devices. The first computer systems used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for main memory. 
and they were often enormous, taking up the entire room. These computers were very expensive to operate, and in addition to using a great deal of electricity, the first computers generated a lot of heat, which was often the cause of malfunctions. First-generation computers relied on machine language, the lowest-level programming language understood by computers to perform operations. The input was based on punch cards and paper tape, and the output was displayed on printouts. The UNIVAC and INIA computers became examples of first-generation computer technology. The UNIVAC was the first commercial computer delivered to a business client, the U.S. Census Bureau, in 1951. The world would see transistors replace vacuum tubes in the second generation of computers. The transistor was invented at Bell Labs in 1947 but did not see widespread use in computers until the late 1950s. A second generation computer still relied on punch cards for input and printouts for output. Second generation computers moved from cryptic binary language to symbolic or assembly languages, which allowed programmers to specify instructions in words. The development of the integrated circuit was the hallmark of the third generation of computers. Transistors were miniaturized and placed on silicon chips called semiconductors, which drastically increased the speed and efficiency of computers. Instead of punch cards and printouts, users would interact with a third generation computer through keyboards, monitors, and interfaces with an operating system, which allowed the device to run many different applications at one time with a central program that monitored the memory. The microprocessor ushered in the fourth generation of computers. The technology in the first generation that filled an entire room could now fit in the palm of the hand. In 1981, IBM introduced its first personal computer for the home user, and in 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. As these small computers became more powerful, they could be linked together to form networks, which eventually led to the development of the internet. Fifth-generation computer technology based on artificial intelligence is still in development, though there are some applications that are being used today. Artificial intelligence and parallel processing hardware are at the heart of this generation of computers. In the fifth generation of computers, all high-level languages are employed. The goal of this generation's computing is to develop devices that will respond to natural language input and are capable of learning and self-organization. Computers truly came to their own as great inventions. From pre-mechanical to mechanical to electromechanical to electronic, computers have gone a long way. From its pattern, we can expect more inventions and developments awaiting to be uncovered.